Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. For today's video, I am using this Carly Bible palette in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sure you've seen it many times before, but um, this is how it looks inside. You do get a mixture of both matte and shimmer shades, and I think the colors are just so beautiful. So for today's video, guys, I'm only gonna be showing you how I create this I look and I do the rest of my face off camera but at the end of the video I will show you guys all the products that I do use anyways if you want to see how I got this eye look for today's makeup tutorial then keep on watching all right y'all so I already prepped my skin so these are the two products right here that I just finished using first I went in with my Nivea Q10 plus C um, anti wrinkle cream this is my new morning moisturizer or daytime moisturizer I've been using it for a little while right now maybe for a couple weeks and I really do like it a lot and then as always I like to prime my face using my favorite one by Morphe it's the equalizer face primer I also went ahead and primed my eyelids as well off camera. I used my favorite drugstore one by Essence. It's the I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. And I did set that base using my um, powder by MAC Cosmetics. I'm really excited to take out one of my Carly Bible palettes. It's this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm sure you've seen it so many times on social media, on YouTube and all that. But I love this palette so much. So as you can see, I've used it quite a few times already. Um, I think I'm just going to use one eyeshadow from this palette. It's this one right here called Stev. This really pretty burgundy color. I want to keep it simple for today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell you guys right now. I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to place it all over my lid first. And then using a blending brush, I'm going to blend it outwards so there's no harsh lines and, it's, and it looks seamless, especially when it's going from my eyelid towards my brow bone. And then after that, guys, I'm going to create a wing line on my eyelids using basically... I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyeliner pen in the color black just to cr create that wing line. And I think that's about it for today. Anyways, guys, so... Let's get started on the eyes. Okay, I put back my bangs because I don't want them getting in the way. So like I said, I already prepped my skin and my eyelids are ready to go. So let's get right into the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a really short, dense eyeshadow brush. This is from Annabelle, which I think I found it from a Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart, but it is one of my older brushes, so I don't remember. Okay, so here's the palette again. I'm going to be using this shade. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up that color using this brush. And I'm going to start placing it all over my eyelid. So I am using a light hand right now just to see how... Um, how pigmented this color is, how much I have on my brush, and then I'll start packing on more. I did switch out my brush to a smaller one so I can get into this inner corner. Okay, so now it's time to start blending out the shade. I'm going to be using this little blending brush right here. It's by Eco Tools. I think you can get this. Um, it's a set of like five different brushes. You can get this set from Walmart, I believe. I got it as I got it as a gift, but I think it's from Walmart. 
and I'm just using a light hand just so I have a more control of the color when I'm blending it out. I'm taking another blending brush. I know I mentioned I'm only going to use one shade, but I'm going to use a second shade and that's it. I want to go into the light shade right here called Bear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that between the, um, the, the burgundy shade and um, my brow bone. And again, I'm just using a really light hand. So I'm taking one of my dense eyeshadow brushes and just packing on that burgundy color one more time. And again with the light hand just blending out the edge. I have nothing on this brush. All right, so now it's time to go in with eyeliner. I'm using this one by e.l.f. It's an eyeliner pen in the color black. I do, I, I'm zooming in guys, because when I do, um, when I create a wing line on my eyelids, I need to be close to my mirror, so here we go. All right, y'all, that's the best I can do. If I try to fix it, it's not like completely 100%, but if I try to fix it, it's gonna get worse. So I kind of leave, I just leave it the way it is. Anyways, guys, I am going to do the other eye and I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I will be right back to show you guys what I did on um, the other products that I used. So see you soon. All right guys, that comes to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna quickly show you guys the products that I used for the rest of my face. So first things first is the foundation. I used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. As you can see, I do like this one a lot. I'm already halfway through the bottle. It's such a great drugstore foundation. For concealer, guys, I usually go in with my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. That's my favorite drugstore concealer, guys, but I want to change it up for today. For today's makeup look, I did use this one that's also by CoverGirl, but it's called the Clean Matte Concealer. The concealer is a little bit lighter than this one, which is my favorite one, so you might have to put a little bit more than usual. Um, I don't know what shade this is because the name is not on the product, but it's really light, so it might be light or even porcelain. As you know, I set my entire face using my favorite powder by MAC. It's a Studio Fix powder in NC20. Guys, <laughs> I don't have any other powder that I use. I love this one so much, and when I do finish it, I will be 
getting another one. For a blush today, guys, I use this little guy right here by Milk Makeup. It's in the shade Work. I love this one so much. And also for highlight, I used my favorite drugstore highlighter. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold Molten. For my brows, guys, I use my favorite drugstore product. It's the Essence Eye Brow Designer Pencil in the shade Brown. This is my go-to brow product all the time. And for my lashes, guys, I use my favorite lashes by Ardell Beauty. It is the Demi Wispies. Hello, they are my favorite lashes. I am definitely open to trying out new ones. I wanna try like the original Wispies, um, but for now I have, let me show you. For now I have like almost a whole pack of Demi Wispies and I wanna go through these guys first before I buy other, um, false lashes. Also, I always, uh, for my lower lashes, guys, I always use my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's in the shade black. It's really small, which is great because I can really get into those lashes and coat them. I also lined my waterline, guys, using my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Fever. Also, I did contour my face. I haven't done that in a while, but I decided to, um, do it today. I used my Beige Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette and I usually just mix these two shades together to create uh, my contour shade. And for the lippies guys, first I line my lips using the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade of Backseat Love. And then I filled in my lips using a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Tempting Toffee which looks just like that. And the last step, I did set my entire makeup using the facial spray by Mario Badescu, has herbs, aloe, herbs, and rose water. This I love a lot too. And yeah, that's about it. I will list all the products down below once again in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.